All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the getLine function that we'll be using for lab 7. This is just going to be a real quick example. So I've set this main up here to take in command line arguments. So what I'm going to do is assume that the user is going to enter dot slash a dot out, and that the first argument is going to be the name of a file with a dot txt extension. So I'm going to declare two variables here. I'll make an if stream variable called in file, and then I'll make a string, and we'll call this file name. So since we know that the file name is going to be at argv1, what I can do is I can say file name is equal to argv1. And then I'm going to open the input file. So I'll say in file.open and we'll pass it the file name. Next I want to make sure that the input file actually opens. So I'll say if input file or in file isn't open. We'll output an error message. And then we'll end the program. OK. So at this point, once we've gotten past that, we know that the input file is open. So what I can do is I can make a loop. And we're going to iterate through each line in the input file. So inside of my while, I'll say while the input file is not at the end of the file. And then I want to get a line from the input file and put it into some string. So I'll declare a new string here, and I'll just call it line. And then what I can do is I can call get line. And we're going to say that we're going to get a line from the in file. And we're going to put that line into our line string. And what I'll do is just I'll output each line afterwards. OK, so let's run this. We'll compile it real quick. And then we'll enter a dot out. And then we'll pass it the name of this test file right here, which I've created. It just has three lines. It says, hello world. In this video, we're using get line. So the name of that file is testfile.txt. So I'll put that in. And then it outputs it correctly. 